Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's been forever since I've done a haul. So today I've got a beauty and skincare haul to show you guys. These are some things that I've bought over the past couple of weeks from various different companies. I just happen to have a Beauty Bay box with me just because I could easily transport it down here. Let's get started with Beauty Bay, why not? So Beauty Bay is an online stockist based in the UK that sells a lot of makeup, indie makeup, makeup from the US as well as UK based makeup, a variety of different things. So what I got from them, and this was split into two orders but um, I can't bother to show you which order came when. Anyway, two of these are the Nabla Close Up Futuristic Foundations. The first one that I bought was in the shade 230 which ended up being a bit too dark for me so I went in and bought T10 which is the perfect shade for me. Hopefully by now you would have seen my review and demo of these foundations. See here you can see them up close so you can see the colour difference. So you can obviously tell that this is definitely my skin tone. And following on from that, ah, oh, this you guys, the Nabla Close Up Smoothing Pressed Powder. This is now my Holy Grail Pressed setting powder i absolutely love it it is the best setting powder in terms of a pressed one that i've ever come across it keeps everything smooth it makes my skin look soft that whole soft focus look that so many of us go for i get that from this this also mattifies my foundation keeps it matte all day i very rarely need to touch it up and i absolutely love it also i'd never tried one of the nabla uh, liquid lipsticks they're called dreamy matte liquid lipsticks and the shade that I've got my one in is called Noblesse Oblige. It's a very nice colour. Actually, I think I was wearing it in one of my previous videos. I don't remember which one. It's like a rosewood kind of pink and I really like it. The quality of these is not that bad either. They are a little bit drying. They're kind of reminiscent, similar of Anastasia Beverly Hills, but not as drying as those. So really happy with this. I obviously haven't used everything in this haul. Some of these I got a lot um, earlier than some of the other things which are newer and still in their packets. All right, a few other things from Beauty Bay. This one here from Makeup Revolution via Beauty Bay. I've not actually opened it yet because funnily enough, I can't really wear um, eyeshadow primers at the moment because my eyes are sick. Um, this is the Revolution Prime and Lock Longwear Eyeshadow Primer. And I don't think it has a color. I think it's just this colour because it's a primer. My P. Louise one is almost finished and I feel like I've had it so long that it's almost gone off as well and because I have this problem with my eyes I would rather go in when they're better with a brand new hygienically clean one rather than an old dusty one that smells a bit funny. So I'm going to try this one out. A couple of skincare things from The Ordinary that I had to restock on because funnily enough all the stuff that I bought in the US when I was there around this time last year um, has started to run out <laughs> because I actually do use them. So I got two of these which is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. I use this every single day. Ever since I started using this over a year ago I have continued to use it every single day as part of my morning skincare routine. This delivers a thousand percent of moisture to the skin that water can't even do no matter how much water you drink no matter how much moisturizer you apply it cannot compete with this so that's why I've actually bought two rather than just one because I know I get through them quite quickly. I also bought this from The Ordinary which is the Niacinamide 10% plus 1% Zinc. This is specifically for people that have got troublesome skin, problematic skin, greasy skin, oily skin, acne prone skin. It's there to regulate sebum and minimize pores is what it says and it really really helps to kind of do a bit of oil control as well for those of you out there that have got oily skin so i got that that's it from beauty bay then you've probably already seen my review on it but i'm showing it anyway two things from fenty beauty which i got from harvey nickel i got the brand new sun stalker instant warmth bronzer this shade is in island ting i'm actually wearing it right now and then i got one of the new kilowatt freestyle highlighter duos and this shade is in afternoon snack and mo honey and that's actually what I'm wearing on my cheekbones today. I'm wearing Mo Honey. So I absolutely love both of these. All right, then I got a couple of things from Cult Beauty. Again, you've already should have seen the review video that I did on these. Whoops, dropping things. And those are the four Lime Crime Software Cream to Powder Blushes, which they released recently. This is the first time that Lime Crime have ever done blushes. So these are the ones that I got. This first one here is called Digital Peach. It's a beautiful bright orange peachy shade with a hint of pink. Love it. 
Then there's this one here called Flower AI, which is a vibrant hot pink. Again, love it. This is amazing on deep, deep skin tones. Then I got this more neutral shade, which is called Gigabyte. This is like a perfect everyday sort of shade for fair to medium skin tones. If you are deep of skin, I would suggest not getting this because it will look kind of ashy pink on you. And then the last blush that I got is this one here, which is called Hyperlink. This is also a pink, but it's more of a neutral toned pink as opposed to Flower AI, which is more of a blue based pink. So this one is just an alternative and it's a little bit lighter in tone. And then, because at the time when I bought these, Cult Beauty was doing 20% off if you spent £100. I was like, okay, I need to add something else. So I picked up this, which is brand new from Pixie, to their toner range. And as you guys know, I absolutely love the Glow Tonic to this day. It's still my favourite. I didn't like the blue, uh, purple retinol one. So now they've come out with this yellow vitamin C tonic. So wait for my empties video, which will come over the next couple of weeks. And my glow tonic's about to finish, so I will try this one and I will let you guys know what my thoughts are. Because I personally don't like to watch people's skincare review videos when they've used it twice. I prefer to do reviews of something that I've been used over a significant period of time so you can actually tell whether it's actually doing anything for your skin. No one's interested if your toner removes your eye makeup. That's not why we buy it. And what else? So I think I got some samples from Cult Beauty. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Is this actually any good, you guys? I know some of you may have tried it, so let me know. Is it worth it or is it just hype? And then this, whatever this is, Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer Glow Recipe. Okay, thanks. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.